I bet you didn't know that viruses and cancer are actually very similar for a lot of reasons. Let me tell you why. The reason that viruses and cancer cells are very similar is because they are very, not necessarily smart, but replicate so quickly that they have a lot of mechanisms to avoid being defeated. Viruses replicate fast and cancer cells replicate fast. And when they replicate, what happens is you end up having changes in the DNA or RNA, you hear those terms all the time. You have changes in those during the replication process that the virus and cancer cell doesn't even care that the mutations are happening. Unlike in our bodies where we don't like mutations and our immune system kills those. In viruses and cancers, those mutations in the DNA and RNA are kind of left alone because who knows, maybe it can make the cancer cell more successful in growing and spreading faster, as well as the virus in growing and spreading faster. When you hear the term variant, everyone's heard that term now, right? A COVID virus variant. What does that mean? That means during this replication process and going to a whole bunch of different people and replicating a million times, you start seeing things that are kind of akin or cousin to the original. Like they might have gotten, you know, an upgrade in their clothes or may have been in the gym and have bigger biceps. They just get basically all the different variations of how they can continue to grow and then that new line continues to grow. That's the reason we've gone through the whole Greek alphabet in COVID, right? Omega and Omicron and all that stuff. Cancer cells are the same thing. You may wonder, how come when we're treating a cancer, it works, it works, it works, the therapy, that you can't see anything, it's working for a year or two years, and all of a sudden, you start progressing on the therapy. Well, we thought we killed it all. If we killed it all, which would be amazing, and it does happen, then there's nothing to continue to spin off. But what happens is, they all start dying in mass volume, but in desperation, they start having these mutations that they hope give them an escape. Basically, literally a backdoor escape to say, okay, this therapy has been attacking in this way. I don't care about that anymore. I found another way to get my food. You took away all the fruits and all we were eating were fruits. Finally, I found one that needs vegetables and you're not attacking vegetables anymore. Then all of a sudden that, vet, that new vegetable colony uh, of cancer cells starts growing and the ones that originally were responding really well to eating just fruits and you blocked the fruits and took them away, that colony has gone. That's why a lot of times now it's important to re-biopsy when you progress because the features change, just like in viruses. The features change in viruses as well. What did we do and say, oh, this is expressed on all COVID viruses, that M spike protein. You give a vaccine that teaches your immune system to look for that uh, fruit loving mouth and says, if you ever see this guy, kill it. Well, what happens if all of a sudden you're not expressing as much of that protein, but you're COVID, you're cousin to the original. Then your body's not prepared for it. Cancer cells are the same way. The reason you're hearing about cancer treatments and vaccines to kill cancer is because the thought is, let's go ahead and give something so that your body, your immune system, which is always killing pre-cancer and even theoretically cancer cells, let's give it already the ammunition and recognition it needs to kill that cancer cell. Neo-vaccines basically mean when you have cancer, they'll take it out and look to see like a neoantigen, like basically, again, one feature, a black hat, you know, with orange stripes. If they're wearing that, you make a vaccine, put it into the body because none of your treatments to, you know, today attack that cancer anymore. There's nothing to do. What if I could make your immune system find that hat with the orange stripes and then go attack it? That's the concept of vaccination in cancer. That's actually where the mRNA vaccine for COVID came. We were looking to see what can we give into the body to make a protein or an antigen that will then allow the immune system to know exactly what to attack. Did it with COVID. mRNA lets you synthesize this spike protein and then your body learns to look for it so that if you ever got it, it knows to attack COVID and reduce the amount of symptoms. I know someone that had the vaccine that still got COVID. You have to have COVID for your immune system to attack it. What's important is, did you already have your troops, like the you know US reserves, did you already have them deployed where, where you knew the attack was coming from the Gulf? Or do you have to wait for the, to recruit them from California and New York and you already have an attack on the Gulf and then when they get there, they start killing it? That's the concept of a vaccine. That's what they're trying to do when it comes to cancer as well. They both replicate fast. They both get mutations. They both find uh, escape mechanisms. And they're both, in a weird way, are very you know, daunting and threatening to humankind. We're all afraid of a virus that we can't beat that'll spread too fast. And we're all afraid of cancers that we know as individuals. Fortunately, they can't spread person to person, but they're very difficult to beat because as you treat them, they get smarter.